the Bunnings MPC playoffs are now just three weeks away and teams near the middle or foot of the table need nothing short of wins to project themselves into the postseason. And two of those teams, Manawatu and Otago, meet here in Palmerston North this afternoon. Tenakoto Katoa, no mai Heidi mai, as Manawatu midweek winners over South of Mido Otago, winless in their last four games. Joined in commentary this afternoon by Ben Castle. Oliver Haig was the target, he still is the target. Now Coltman will latch onto this and they've got some good way on here. Good powerful maul, uh, should go all the way, and they do. And Liam Coltman comes up with the first try of the afternoon. Well, they made that look easy, but they've brought the right mindset. And mindset is everything in these conditions. Good throw from that man on screen, but look at the work of the men in front. You can see Fishley, Stoddard working really hard, Ma'u as well, and then it just got momentum and there was no stopping it and leaving Manawa two bodies in its wake. Oh, just so efficient, weren't they? Otago, they opted to go for the line after really ill discipline on two occasions from Manawa two. Now, they build again to Manawatu. Ball is there. Phil Ewan drops it off for a while, puts a nice little kick in. Now the race is on and into touch it goes with Penabaa. Just needed a good bounce. Well, a great change in mindset in terms of kick strategy. We've seen the little chip kick not work this time, just putting on the hoof. And in these conditions, so challenging to scoop up if you're the opposition. If it could have just got the bounce, that would have been a miracle play. Ascot slings it away to Miller. Puts it right down the middle, but Wild read it extremely well. Thumps it hard. Miller's gone back. Most of his team in front of him. Now a bit of space here for McDonald. He might uh, take them on here. As he kicks across. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a 50-22 by a long way. Oh, it's a beautiful kick. He saw it early. He shaped for it. Hurley caught in the middle of the field and didn't react quick enough. And then that's all too easy, and that is perfect. Getting his head down is Hunter for Manawatu. TK Howden just out from the 22. Referee's got the arm out. Offside out here. And it's offside oh, against no, no, Otago. Yeah, you're fine there. Go back here. 13. I have to think there's no need for them to change tactics. Get this into the corner. Sounds like they're going for points though. McDonald. First kick of the afternoon, and it looks pretty good. It is good. So Reese McDonald gets Manawatu on the board. Otago leading a quarter of the way through this game by seven to three. Again, thumps it hard. Nice work again by Finn Hurley. His quality at the back, absolute quality. Here he goes. Oh, and then he knocks it on. Put the curse on him, but he did everything right up until the fact that he bumbled the probably fairly greasy ball. Absolute superb skill. One to take this catch on the move, get away from Philomone, and then glides past one of the better defenders in your set. Then just as he's about to make that decision to free up Umanga Jensen, slipped out of his control. Left winger, Josh Fanger for Otago. No, you guys are clean Ascot the again, space. they're in centre field. No! Away for Lopez. And the penalty. You're OK, but he needs to be out of there. He's got to get out. For you to be able to have a crack, he needs to go. Yeah, you're good. Well, they're definitely attacking the breakdown. His bodies fall in and around. That's some good, efficient Points. cleans Points. from Otago. Miller, pretty much from in centre field, and good kick by Cameron Miller. Kicks the penalty goal, and Otago have a 10-3 advantage. Well, he goes the other way. 
Manawatu got it pretty well organised though, and now Otago getting close. And that's been lost forward. So Manawatu patting themselves on the back. Good defence. As they should. That was a big tackle. Manu Willy, as he went down the short side, he might have been watching a bit of top 14 footage based on that move. They've been receiving a lot of kicks, both Wild and McDonald. Now here's Miller. Cam Miller. Gets through the first one, gets through a couple. Finally dragged down 10 metre line, one or two territory. And they get a penalty, Otago. Players have got plenty of grass, plenty of mud on them at the moment. They're running back down there. Just sense this game's going to continue to be an arm wrestle. Last act of the first half is this penalty attempt by Miller, and it is good. So Cam Miller kicks a late penalty goal in the first half for Otago. And having had the win behind them in the first half, Otago go to the break, leading by 13 points to three. So the referee, I think, has had enough of collapsed scrums, etc., etc. Somebody who was going to be picked on, it just happened to be Manawatu. Points, let's. I'll take the three points. Probably an easy three. No problems at all for Cameron Miller. Kicks another penalty goal. 16 points to three. Campbell again, away for Cameron. Now a bit of space here for Drew Wild. And Burst and Gorka gets it away and they've left it behind. And now here's Haig right up the middle. Kick and chase, who's got the speed? Oh my goodness. Finally, it was McDonald who got back. Oh, that's loose. And Otago get the penalty. So the short line out. And a really good opportunity here. Henry Bell for Otago in the 16 jersey. Still going forward. And to the line they go. And try given. Otago have their second. Well, patience has finally paid off for Otago. And that man on screen did a very, very good job. So often you focus on the numbers in front of him, but just as it started to stagnate and split apart, Henry Bell just hoofed them through the collision and thought nothing else but keep this under his chest. There was no chance it was going to ask Scott. And then once they break away, it's all too easy and it's try time and you have to think they will get that away win. Well, Bell just straight onto the park. Nails the line out throw, goes into the back there. Actually did really well. There are a couple of occasions that could have fallen apart and it showed their patience. Ascot gets it away for Stoddart. First receiver was Harmon. Nice work there by Crichton. Got it in field to Miller. Ah, Scott, good hands. Otago managed to have turned it over. And off goes Shaw. But they're at the wrong part of the field here, Manawatu. Campbell away from... Oh, he just got that away. Yosei feeds it away for Wild. So Drew Wild finds himself in pretty good position here. Picked it up beautifully. Oh, that's magnificent. And he got the pass away to Luke Campbell, and that is a crack for Manawatu. Well, they say if you believe in yourself, you're halfway there. And Manawatu have kept that belief. Chance their arm. A fantastic pass from yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew Wild. Would have thought he put on the toe. Don't forget that from Cameron. That was a 14 point try. You'll say the skills, you can see him. He assesses the situation, sees Campbell, and the scoop up and pass. 
And like all good nines, that trailing inside line leads to plenty of tries. Hasty goes to the blind side for Finn Hurley. Just keeps on scrapping, doesn't he? Little bloke. Now yeah, a good drive here from Stoddart. Otago looking to finish strongly in the game. Leo Woolley's got a hold of it. He goes straight ahead. It's obviously been held up on bodies here. And a two player. Here's a go at the line. Close. Another crack at the line. Offside. So now, decided to try something different. Crichton is out wide, but oh, Crichton has got it. And he should score. And he does. Hudson Crichton scores for Otago right at the end. Well, they've kept at it. And they might just want to nip back to halfway. If they can get one more. Well, sneak a bonus point. Take them equal ninth. See the build-up play. You have to think they may go over one or two all offside in front of that line. Not the neatest of crossfield kicks you've ever seen, but the first error in McDonald's game provided the opportunity for Crichton, and he goes over. And the siren has already gone, so I think that might be it. And yes, it is. Stan Nwanga blows the whistle. And that heralds the end of the game here in Palmerston North. And Otago, well, in the end, just a little bit too good. They led by 13 to 3 at half time. And they have come away with the victory. 28 points to 10. Yeah, pretty proud of the boys there. Eh? We knew it was going to be with the footy and good old Palmy. And came out here and we knew it was going to be banging down the front door first. And just glad the boys, proud of the boys that did it. And there was something about your defence today. The way that came up on the line and some big shoulders and uh, one or two certainly felt it. Yeah, we knew one or two, the way to get into the game was the physicality and we knew we had to match that. And we definitely turned up today, so I'm proud of the boys.